In this tutorial we are going to go through how to create an aimed projectile shooting from one direction, uh, one position to another position and then hitting exactly where you want it to. So let's check out how this is done. Welcome back to a bite-sized tutorial. In this one we are going to make sure that we can fire a projectile from one location to a different location. So starting off we are in a third person character project here, a default one. Uh, this is Unreal Engine version 5.2. So Starting off, we're just going to be creating a blueprint class that is going to be our actual projectile. So we'll call this BP underscore projectile. And we will create another actor immediately, which will be our target. So we'll just call it BP target. Uh, the projectile we open up. So inside of this projectile, we're going to be creating first a static mesh. And this is just to have a visual representation. The static mesh can have the default name. We're going to choose a sphere as a uh, mesh for this. To make it a little bit smaller, we're going to be multiplying the scale by 0 0.05. So now we have a much smaller ball. And with this in place, we are now going to be adding our projectile component. The projectile component will allow us to have projectile movement. So on begin play, we are going to be saying we want to launch this projectile in some direction towards a certain actor. So let's first set up our target. So we'll just create a variable. We'll say this is a projectile target. Like so we'll make it of the type BP target that we created earlier. And we'll say this is instance editable and expose and spawn. Uh, next up, we want to actually uh, fire this projectile. So we're going to say that upon creating of this projectile, it's immediately going to go to this target. So we'll get our projectile target, get its actual location in the word, world, and this is what we're going to be firing to. How we're going to be firing is we right click and take suggest projectile velocity custom arc. This allows us to shoot from one point to another. So we're going to take the current location where the projectile is spawned, have that as a start location and as an end location, the target that we want to hit. Then after that, we'll take our projectile movement component. We'll want to set the velocity and we'll set the velocity to the out velocity here. And the out velocity here is going to be determined based on the settings of our arc, which is an angle uh, between zero and one and our start location and our end location, and then allow it to go to our target that we have designated now. So now all that remains is that we spawn in a target. So we'll go and uh, find our, in this case, a third person blueprint over here. Uh, we'll just add a key for firing the projectile. So I'll uh, type in keyboard and I'll take a key. Let's uh, take the zero key. And from this, we'll just spawn a projectile not a projectile, it's going to be called a uh, spawn actor and it's called BP projectile. There we go. And it's spawn location is going to be somewhere where we're going to shoot from. So if it's like a bow, you shoot from a bow. If it's a cannon, you shoot from the cannon, cannon barrel and such on. Uh, for this, we're just going to be saying uh, get our actor location, which in this case will be our sphere component for this actor that we actually are playing with ourselves. And that's going to be creating this. Now, if we compile, we can see here that we have a projectile target and we want to make this a promoted variable so that we have something to work against. And we'll say that we want to have it instance editable. Now, in our world, we can go out and actually put a target in the world. So over here, and we can save this and then just uh, make sure that we have our third person character. So this is our third person character. And we have a projectile target here. So we'll just assign this projectile target to be our actual target for this uh, projectile. And now by pressing play, actually, we are going to get defaulted in with another character. Let's say that we want to have this character um, auto-possessed player. Uh, player zero 
and that should be good. So now we have this character, and if we press the, the zero, you can see that we're firing uh, the projectile. The projectile is, of course, going to this target because that is what we have designated. And that's all you need to do to create the projectile and shoot it from one location to a specified other location. Keep on learning, take care. A big thank you to all of you who like, comment, subscribe and share my videos, or through other means support this channel. You are what makes this channel grow and become a resource for other people to learn from.